So I wanted to do a, a reading for tonight for, I guess, kind of like a New Year thing. But my previous reading, my past, present, and my future, um, and then my three, my bottom deck energy, and then my three cards to enhance, and then the, the second bottom deck. But before it was adjustments are required, a personal issue reaches resolution, nothing will come of the situation. Uh, the energy is gaining momentum. Nothing is yet set in stone. Communication is key. Prosperity lies ahead. And look at the bigger picture. So yes, all those were very important. And I needed to record that for my own reasons. Basically so I can remember what it was. Because that was like two days ago, I think. But it was right on point. Uh-oh. It was right on point. So I'm trying a new way to record. So I have to kind of um, do it a little different. So I'm just going to do my past, present, future. Put some encouragement cards. It's a brand new year. Real new year. New things happening in this year five, this chaos year, but I'm going to be all right. And the rest of the soul family is going to be all right too. So let's see. Hmm. I worked on my video podcast today and I was a little stressed, but I got through that. So, oops. Okay, I have to try to stand up straight. past a new start is coming mm -hmm. I had that already it's funny in my present you are very close to achieving your goal that's nice yeah because that's when I'm working on my goals and I guess the fact that I've started on my goals best way and then this one, what do you need to release for my future card? <laughs> That's funny. I know what I need to release. I need to release um, a lot of stress that I've been having. Just about everything. And, and I guess really it's about the timing of things. And sometimes I think that things are just moving too slow and I get stressed out. And sometimes I think things need to happen faster. And it's just not happening down fast enough. So I know that's something I have to release, but I don't worry about it too much because I know it's something I have to go through. I have to just go through these moments of that, you know, but that's fine. And then when you have a new start, you know, and you're working on goals, you have to go through this cycle, I, I believe, a lot in order to, uh, you know, grow up, upwards. And then bottom deck in energy is time to take action. Yep, I agree with that. Time to take action. Because I have, um, you know, all my plans. And in order to, you know, keep my plans going, keep the momentum going, yeah, I have to keep the action going. And it's easy to get distracted stop especially if you get stressed out when I get stressed out it's like mm -mm. sometimes I kind of shut down and um, the, at least those times are getting shorter and shorter you know at least but yes it's time for action and I'm noticing that when I do act and I do you know what I need to do and do my plans I feel so much better I feel encouraged you know and I feel happy and it's a good thing and you will wonder why I don't do it more often. I don't know. Well, I do know. It's because I get stressed out. 
<laughs> so a new romantic cycle begins hmm so that should be some new things happening which I'm looking forward to I used to be afraid of cards like that, you know, about new things like, oh, what could that be? What could that mean? Now I don't trip off of that. What could that be? What could that mean? Because I know whatever it is is going to be for my highest good. So that takes some stress off too. And then look at the bigger picture. I had that last time too. That's something I have to keep in mind all the time is looking at the bigger picture because like I said, when I get stressed, I don't see the big picture. All I see is, I think I see me, 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 now, now, now. And damn it, it ain't enough <laughs> happening fast enough. So, yeah, I think that's what that is. And then, uh, nothing will come of this situation. I got that again. I got these two last time. And nothing will come of this, this situation. Basically means not to worry about, um, not to worry about anything. Because I'm not asking about anything specific, you know, except for just what I'm already, you know, working on and going through. So this tells me, like, don't worry. Don't worry. You know, nothing different is going to happen in this situation. To the contrary, you know, detrimental. You know, stay in your path. Do what you have to do. Um, and don't worry. Don't worry so much because, you know, it is what it is. Then my bottom deck is uh, conclusions are within reach. Yes, exactly. Conclusions are within reach. I think I got that one the time before as well. Um, because it, it's hard, to, you know, sometimes to, to know if, like I said, you know, it's not happening fast enough. You know, what's going on. So, conclusions are always in reach. And as long as I take action and keep going and releasing negativity, um, I'll, I'll stay close to achieving my goal. And when I get to this point where I'm very stressed I have to look at the bigger picture and keep that in mind and I have to not worry you know realizing nothing's going to come of the situation you know with me worrying and so then my star seed uh, section always very interesting because you know I am a star seed I am here to do a job I do have a double mission, you know, to help with the global awakening in my own way and to help myself to rise and to do what I need. To do what I need. It's not always easy, but I think it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be challenging, you know, with a positive twist. But it's very easy for me to get um, to be negative and to be down. And that's why I enjoy doing this for myself. So, I ask my higher self, what do you want to tell me? And then what's my next step on this journey? So, let's see. Oh, big picture thinking. <laughs> so I said, what do you want to tell me? And this is what my higher self said. Big picture thinking. Uh, Pleiades energy, visionary, inspired ideas. So yes, look at that. Thinking about the big picture. And your ideas, you know, are a part of achieving your goal. Stay that visionary and take action. Yeah. And then the next step, surrender to the sweetness. Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. And that's beautiful. And that's something, too, that helps me when I need to release you know, um, sometimes I just have to get in nature and I have to uh, just relax and breathe out a little bit. 
And believe it or not, I haven't been on the beach, like, for real, for real. Probably in, like, four or five days. I think I went once. But I guess because there's so many people here, I'm used to having the beach by myself. I don't know. And I was kind of stressed out, so I didn't do it. And um, that creates a different energy around me, you know. So I really do need to surrender, get into nature, you know, um, and enjoy myself. You know, have a, have some joy, have some pleasure, and make love to life. And then my bottom deck energy. Let's see what this is. Oh, high wraith. And this is me all the time, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Yeah, I spend a lot of time up in the clouds looking at the stars and wishing I was home. But I think the way to get home is to be successful here on my journey and get done what I need to get done. And, um, you know, not stress out about it so much, which I find myself doing and probably, you know, a lot of us do that but that's the whole point of you know me being here and doing this and just trying to be positive so then let's see what what extra encouragement So extra encouragement is what if it's possible that my life can change for the better? Mm -hmm. I choose to take my next step with hope, humor, determination, and ease. I agree with that. And that is a part of me surrendering to the sweetness. That's what's going to help me do that. And since I'm entering something new, a new cycle, I'm going to take my next steps with hope humor, determination, and ease, and not be so stressed out, and that way I know that I can release the stressful things that I need to release. Sometimes I tend to hang on, hang on to it too long, and then this one says, what if it's possible it's safe for me to shine just as I am? I choose to share my gifts and my presence with authenticity and love. Yeah. That's a challenge sometimes because it's like, who cares? <laughs> you know, only I care about what I'm trying to do and encourage myself. No, we all are in this, in this together. And we all could use the same encouragement and, you know, remind ourselves that we have gifts and our presence is very important. So I have to look at the bigger picture. I always have to look at the bigger picture. Whoa. So what if it's possible it's safe for me to feel my feelings? I choose to feel my feelings and let them move on. I laugh about this all the time because, you know, sometimes I stay in my head and my feelings, especially when I'm stressed out. And... I'm not going to say I tell myself negative things, but I hear a lot of negative things. And if I dwell on those, then I stay stressed longer. But if I go ahead and just feel what I'm feeling, and I'm like, oh, got that out, then I can release the negativity. So I'm going to put this over here on what I, what I need to release. So just feel what you feel and let it go. And I think that's the whole point of us feeling what we feel. Because the feelings are natural. It's going to happen. So I believe we're supposed to just feel what we feel. Like, oh, hell. Or, oh, this is driving me nuts. You know, say it. Get it out your system. And then move on to the next thing. Because you, you know, just clean that out. You know, it came into your head. So either you're going to keep it there or you're going to get rid of it. So I think saying it, saying how you feel, whether it's to yourself or somebody, and then getting rid of it and then move on to the next thing. But I believe sometimes we dwell on it too long. I think I do. Because, I don't know, I think it's just a habit. It's really not a certain reason. Because nobody made me. And I'm, I mean, I live by myself. So nobody's stressing me out or getting on my nerves or, you know, doing anything to me. 
I think it's just a habit. You know, when you've been stressful for a while sometimes, that's how we react and respond. So I think we just kind of carry that into each situation. That's all I can think of because there's really no reason. Okay, so what is this? What if it's possible that I am loved beyond my wildest dreams? I choose to receive with joy and abundance. This makes me smile. You can hear the smile in my voice. <laughs> um, this is really good because a lot of times I feel alone and lonely. And I'm always on that high rate. Longing for home. And homesick for the stars and trying to get the hell out of here. You know, but I really can't until I finish my mission. And I really do want to. You know, so I have to... Big picture thinking. Look at the big, big picture. I got that twice. And this I have to keep in my head all the time because if I don't, you know, man, all I think about is how do I get the hell out of here? <laughs> it's like, no, you're going to finish this mission. <laughs> so being loved is a great thing. I have a spirit team. I have a spiritual soul family. Okay, so what if it's possible for me to celebrate myself and all that I have to share? I choose to honor, value, and celebrate me just as I am. I think that's positive. Yeah. I think that's positive. And something that we all have to keep in mind. Honor, value, celebrate yourself just as you are. So I'm going to put that um, with um, the this one over here. The new start is coming. And it's coming for me. Just as I am. Because of who I am. You know. Because I'm a wonderful person. We all are. What if it's possible I am becoming more clear and confident every day? I choose clarity, confidence, joy, ease, and fun. Mm -hmm. Same as this over here. I choose to receive with joy and abundance. It, it really changes your mindset on everything that's going on. We're supposed to be abundant and happy and feel joy. And it's hard to when you're so stressed out about everything. But if you um, look at the bigger picture and change your mindset about everything, um, you can look at everything a little bit different. And everything can be a new romantic cycle. These changes that are happening. Oh, and there's my teapot. Let me stop it. I'm not going to edit that. <laughs> yeah. See, I'll probably do about three more. Two, three more. Uh -uh. So this one says... What if it's possible that the person whose help I need is already on their way to me? I choose gratitude and joy. That's interesting. And I like when I get this card because it's like, what if the person whose help I need is already on their way to me? And when I've had this card before, I've always had like a certain synchronicity that was like amazing. And then I think back in retrospect, oh, you know what? Isn't that something? And this is this is uh, part of why we shouldn't worry so much. Because things are always being worked out in our favor by the universe. You know? Um, the spirit is always looking out for us. You know? And so is the universe. So there are things happening for us in ways that we couldn't even imagine. And we all have experienced that. And I know I know that. 
you know, it's easy to forget sometimes, but, you know. So let me see. I'll do one, maybe, maybe three more. I like to have a certain layout look. Oh, oh, there we go. What if it's possible for me to fully accept all of who I am? I choose to own my value, beauty, and creativity. Oh, I like that. I think that's nice. I feel like spirit gives me a lot of encouragement for myself, you know, because sometimes um, those thoughts, you know, that I have those feelings that I have, um, instead of letting them move on, I hang on to them. And that's what causes some stress. But this is saying, you know, I got to accept who I am and choose to, you know, own my value, beauty, and creativity. I like that. It's so encouraging. So let me see two more. Ah, there's another one. What if it's possible that I have options and possibilities? I choose love, growth, and fun. Mm-hmm. Man, we talked about that over here a couple times. Fun. Surrendering to sweetness. Choosing joy, clarity, uh, ease, and fun. Yeah. We'll put that right here. And then um, I got space for one more. This is like the most encouraging. You know, so I love to go to sleep to this. And I love to wake up to this. And sometimes I do little quick ones before I take a nap. <laughs> so my mind can be in the right place. So I don't you want to tell me how to show. Okay, so what if it's possible that I am surrounded by beauty? I choose to breathe in the beauty that's around me. Yes. I agree. That helps with gratitude. And I am surrounded by beauty for real. I mean, my the inside of my place is beautiful. Outside is beautiful. Right in my front yard. You know, across the street at the beach is beautiful. The sky is beautiful. And um, that's something to keep in mind. But when you get stressed, you don't even see all of that. You know, beauty right in front of you. So this is one of those every morning things when you get up and, t and talk about your gratitude, what you're grateful for. Be grateful to be surrounded by beauty and however you can find it. You know, look around. What's beautiful? If you can't think of anything that's beautiful, imagine it, imagine it all being gone. <laughs> and if it was all gone, what one or two things would you love to have back? You know, would it be something inside your house, something outside your house? You know, that's a quick way to... Be grateful for what you have, imagining it be all being gone, right? So my bottom deck energy says, what if it's possible that I can smile right now? <laughs> I know, right? Mm-hmm. Says, I choose to smile at myself and at everyone else just because I can. That's nice. And that's true. So, that's what it is. I had a new start coming. It's here. We all have. A whole new year. Close to achieving my goal right now, which is great because I am taking action. And I know I've needed to release negativity because I've been stressed out about whatever. And because sometimes I think nothing is happening or I don't see myself acting fast enough or doing fast enough. Um... But understanding that I have to look at the bigger picture and I have to not worry because nothing's going to come of the situation with me worrying. Um, I'm always in a new romantic cycle, you know, something new happening and romantic cycle. Oh, my battery's getting low. A romantic cycle doesn't mean, um, you know, romance with someone, but also just life in general, you know. So I have to keep the big picture thinking surround surround myself with with beauty and surrender to the sweetness and i can long for the stars 
and I'm homesick for that. But remember, I'm not alone, and I'm here on a mission and a journey that I want to get done. And that conclusions are always in reach, and I'm going to choose to receive with joy and abundance. I'm going to choose clarity, confidence, ease, and fun. I'm going to take my next step with humor, hope, determination. I'm going to honor and value myself. I'm going to feel my feelings and let them move on. I'm going to own my value, beauty, and creativity. I'm going to breathe in the beauty that's around me. I'm going to share my gifts with everyone with authenticity and love. I'm going to choose love, growth, and fun. I'm going to choose gratitude and joy. And I choose to smile at myself and everyone else just because I can. So I hope that was encouraging to you all just as it is for me. So thanks for listening. Peace, family.